Hello and welcome to a brief demonstration on the Casio FX 9750G3 calculator. In this demonstration, we shall examine how to use the EQ UA menu or option A on the home screen to solve a quadratic. Our first example will be x squared minus one equals zero. So we'll go ahead and It will start here. So we'll hit alpha and the variable key. And that will take us to this screen here where we can select simultaneous equations, polynomial equations, or some kind of solver. In this case, we're going to select poly. So we're going to select F2. And here it says, uh, here we have a polynomial, data exists in memory degree two. What this means is that numbers are typed in. Uh, you may see that data does not exist in memory. That simply means that there uh, is no data in the memory. So we're gonna select uh, F1 for the degree two uh, polynomial, because that's the quadratic. And we get to this screen here, and as you can see, I have numbers typed in. So. We have the standard form of a quadratic here. We have the coefficients of the uh, variables listed here. And down here in the right corner, it tells us uh, what the number is uh, in the highlighted part of this list. In the lower uh, part here, we have solve, delete, clear, or edit. This would be F1, F2, F3, and F4. So let's go ahead and type in our coefficients. So we have one X squared. So we hit one and EXE. We have zero X. So we do zero EXE. And then we do negative one for the constant in EXE. And then we hit F1 to solve. And it brings us to our solutions here. And our solutions are put in a list, either one or negative one. And whatever one is highlighted in the list here will also be uh, shown down here in its exact form uh, whenever possible. So this is how you can use the uh, equation menu for solving quadratics. But we're gonna do a few more examples here. So let's go ahead and uh, exit out of here. And when I hit the exit button, Again, I get brought back to the coefficient screen. And our next example is going to be 2x squared plus 3x minus 4 equal to 0. So we'll go ahead and type in 2 and then exe, and then 3 and then exe, and negative 4 and exe. And then we'll hit F1 again for solve. And this brings us to this. Uh, screen, where in the list here, we can see that we have decimal approximations to our answers. But in the lower right, we can see that we have the exact answer uh, as given by the quadratic formula. So if you're looking for decimal approximations, you get them here. And if you want the exact answer, at least using the quadratic formula, you can get it down here. Now, this is just one of them. Notice it's negative three plus square root 41 over four. It doesn't say plus or minus here because those are all listed individually. So if you hit the down arrow, then you get to the negative three minus square root 41. Okay, so you can use the up and down arrow on the uh, keypad here to navigate your way through the answers and also to see if you can get the other exact forms whenever they're shown. So let's exit out of here, back to our coefficient screen. And our third example will be x squared minus 2x plus 1 equals 0. So we'll go ahead and type in our coefficients at 1x squared minus or negative 2x and then plus 1. So we'll go ahead and just put 1 in. And again, we'll hit f1 for solve and in this case we get this kind of times two uh, little thing showing off to the side here and what this means is that particular value appears twice in the solution set so rather than list the same value two times in the list 
it condenses the list down and shows the multiplicity on the side if the multiplicity is greater than one. So in this case, we have the uh, solution x equal one, but it appears twice or two times in the solution set. So let's go back to our home, our coefficient screen. And our next example is going to be x squared plus one equals zero. So we'll go ahead and hit uh, one and then exe, zero for the coefficient of x, and then one again for the constant term. And if I hit F1 to solve, it gives me a screen that says no real roots, uh, press exit. Okay. So this quadratic has no real solutions, but we know from the fundamental theorem of algebra that all polynomials have at least one solution in the complex number system. We also know from the exact number of zeros theorem or the degree theorem as it's sometimes called that the degree of the polynomial tells us exactly how many solutions the polynomial has. So can we still use the calculator to give us our solutions? And the answer is yes, and here's how. So we go ahead and hit exit and then we hit shift and menu. And this takes us to the setup. In the setup here, we have input output math, we have fractional results, we have function type, y equals, that's the standard uh, rectangular form. Angle here is RAD, that's radian measure for angles. Display is normal one. And this complex mode, this is the one that we're after. Complex mode is listed as real. What that means is that only real solutions will appear. So I'm gonna go ahead and scroll down until I get to that complex mode. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, look at these icons at the bottom. It says real A plus BI or R angle theta. This real icon is the display real numbers only. The A plus BI will be the rectangular form of complex numbers, the real part and the imaginary part. This R angle theta, this is the polar form of complex numbers. And this uh, you would use if you are dealing with uh, trigonometry combined with complex numbers. This is usually done in a, a trigonometry or a pre-calculus with trigonometry class. So we're, we're going to change it to the A plus BI mode uh, in the rectangular form of complex numbers. Then we'll go ahead and exit. We'll go back to the coefficient screen and hit F1 to solve. And now you can see that we have I and negative I as my solutions. And these are the imaginary units, the square root of negative one. So the Casio calculator can uh, do complex solutions. You just have to put it in the right setup to do that. Now let's look at one more example. So we'll go back to the coefficient screen and we'll go ahead and type in two for two X squared plus one X plus four. So we type in our coefficients hitting EXE after each coefficient is typed in. We hit F1 to solve. And in this case, we still have complex solutions, but now we're getting the uh, decimal format of these in the list again or we're getting the exact form here uh, using the quadratic formula. So it's not confined to just imaginaries. You can have real and imaginary parts uh, in rectangular form if those happen to be solutions. So again, we have the decimal formats in the list. We have the exact form in the lower right. And this is how you can use the Casio calculator to solve quadratic polynomials with real or complex answers.